I just added a mastermind AI to my game Choo Choo Charles, and at this point, I don't even know what it's gonna do. Two weeks ago, the main enemy, Charles, was as dumb as a brick. But now he can hunt you down and attack you and your train, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. All right, so the very first thing that I had to do was to get into the head of an evil, bloodthirsty spider train. If I was a train and wanted to eat people, what would I do? And so this is what I came up with. So basically Charles will randomly roam around the whole open world map and as you are exploring the map, you know, driving your train around, getting upgrades, finding resources, talking, you know, doing missions and all that stuff, Charles will randomly attack you like every five or ten minutes or so. When Charles goes into this active hunting mode, you have to, you know, you can jump on your train, you can either hide from him or you can gun him down until he's taken enough damage that he will run away and hide to, you know, regain his health. So now that I knew what he would do, I had my second problem, which is I don't know how to program AI. <laughs> so in UE4, AI is programmed using something called the behavior trees, and a behavior tree is like a network of different actions that an AI can perform if certain criteria are met. So because of how I previously set up the movement system, I needed to make some adjustments to make sure that, you know, Charles actually looked decent while he was using the whole new navigation AI system. And while making these uh, improvements, Charles turned into some sort of Lovecraftian god. I, I don't... <laughs> and so after that, I started the watching UE4 tutorials for 48 hours straight challenge. But it basically executes their children from left to right. And these are the- Yeah, I, I literally, I watched tutorials for like two days straight. And um, yeah, that, that's basically half of game development is just watching tutorials. So if you are ever impressed by anything I've done, don't be. <laughs> so I managed to copy enough stuff from these tutorials to get a, a really simple, movement AI system working and I kind of got a little bit stuck because every single time that I try to add more functionality everything else would get like 10 times more complicated and speaking of how difficult and frustrating some of this stuff can be I want to introduce this video's sponsor core which is actually making this whole game development everything way easier. Core is a PC gaming platform where you can create, share, and play games completely free. You don't need coding experience to even make core games, and there are thousands of free assets that you can use to get started, or you can write your own custom code in Lua. Core has built-in multiplayer so you can publish your game instantly for others to play. Since Core uses Unreal Engine, your game will have high quality AAA graphics. You can make single or multiplayer games super fast and developers get a 50% revenue share, which is way more than other similar platforms. Some core creators have been able to pay their bills, buy their dream cars, you know, you got these core developers out here with their sick whips, and even quit their day jobs with the help of the Perks program. It's one of the easiest ways to get started making games. It's completely free. You can publish games on their platform super easily. So if you've ever wanted to make your own games and didn't know where to start, this would be a really good place because it takes a lot of the hassle out that you would run into using a normal game engine. So if you want to try making your own game super easily, go download Core from the Epic Game Store using the link in the description and let's get right back into the video so anyways yeah the the ai programming was not going well it was it was incredibly buggy sometimes charles would randomly break out into dance sometimes he would just go full-on nascar and because of this i just decided okay i just need to take a break from this ai stuff and work on some other stuff so first thing i added a health system for the player so that you can take fall damage, uh, Charles can hit you. Also added this fantastic death screen. And still at this point feeling defeated by my inability to create anything resembling artificial intelligence. I, I just had official stupidity. And so I added a health system for Charles. Cause in my last video that I did where I added a bunch of new weapons, I just added the weapons themselves. So I made it so that all of the different guns do different amounts of damage, as well as that, hitting Charles in different places will do more or less damage. I added a couple particles and sound effects and animations and stuff when you hit him. And in addition to that, here's something super cool that you guys are gonna like. In the last video, I asked you for uh, weapon name suggestions, and so I used some of them in the game. So I, I introduce you to the derailer, which is the default machine gun, bug spray, which is the flamethrower, the boomer, which is the rocket launcher, and bob, which is the range gun. By the way, speaking of all the guns and combat stuff, later on in this video, I'm gonna be showing off brand new gameplay footage that shows an actual like combat scenario with all of the finish. 
finished AI and the guns and weapon damage, it, it's cool. So stay tuned for that. It was time to reapproach this whole AI system because I'd basically finished all the peripheral systems. And so I made the incredibly dumb decision of saying, you know, screw you behavior tree. I don't need you. I can just program AI just using blueprints, which is just the normal visual scripting in Unreal Engine. And so I started from scratch reprogramming all the AI stuff that I had already gotten done in blueprint. And I was actually making good time. I was, I was do, making a lot of progress in a couple of hours. I'd already reprogrammed all the uh, abilities that the original behavior tree had, you know, just walking around, sensing the player and chasing the player. But then as soon as I started trying to add any new features, I couldn't get any of that stuff to work. I had a, a pure infestation of bugs. And after literally an entire day of trying to debug this blueprint AI system, I went to bed completely defeated. It wasn't very fun. It, I was not enjoying myself. So I got up the next day and I realized, okay, this is where everything is going wrong with the blueprint system. And I was kind of starting to realize, okay, the behavior trees, there's actually a lot of stuff that I could fix if I actually learned how these work. And so for the third time, I reprogrammed the whole system using behavior trees and I it kind of finally started to click in my brain and I was actually kind of getting the hang of it. So within a day, I finished the whole on foot AI system so Charles could run around patrolling the island. He could see the player, he could chase the player, and you could actually hide from Charles, right? If you get far enough away, at which point he would search the area and then leave going back to patrolling if he didn't find you. Turns out that was just the easy part because now I had to add a system where Charles would respond differently depending on whether or not you're on foot or in your train. So I ended up spending about a week just getting this system working, making it so that Charles could attack the train, adding a health system for the train, as well as making it so that Charles responds to the sound that your guns and your horn and train make. It wasn't very fun, so I don't really have any footage of that. I don't think you'd wa really want to watch it anyway. So instead, I'll just show you this jump scare I made. Yes, it very amazing. Oh, oh, please stop clapping. So now at this point, it had been just about two weeks since I first started working on trying to figure out all this AI stuff and I had the basically the entire system done. And so now before I show you this brand new cutting edge, never before seen gameplay, I just want to remind you that you can wishlist Choo Choo Charles on Steam. It's currently like the 59th most wishlisted game on all Steam, I'm trying to get to number 50 right now. So you should go do that because then you will you will have officially joined the the cool kids club. <laughs>
Be sure to wishlist Choo Choo Charles on Steam, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to check out Core, link in the description. Go do 